Hey guys, I decided it's time to put a new spool holder on my 3D printer. Uh, this is going to be relatively specific to the one how Duplicator 6 or the Monoprice Maker Ultimate. Just in the end piece here. Uh, the rest of this uh, this setup can be uh, made for any 3D printer. You've got to change the mounting where it actually attaches. That's not a big deal. Uh, you'll find the link to all this stuff, all the uh, files, in the description below. And what you're going to need is obviously the, uh, the parts... 3D print those out. I use a relatively high infill, not too high um, if you don't want to take too long, but you know, 30 or 40 percent or so. It will have a, you know, a good kilogram hanging off of there, so you want to have a, a reasonable amount of strength. You'll need the uh, stock little nut that comes with the one how or the uh, monoprice printer because we'll reuse that piece. Two uh, 608 bearings, so uh, go raid your little brother's or your little sister's uh, spinner, fidget spinner, and grab two of the bearings out. A nylock nut, M8, two uh, standard nuts in M8 again, three M8 washers and an M8 spring washer, and then a piece of M8 uh, threaded rod, about 150 mil. It can be a little bit less, but not too much. Uh, that's going to be the main shaft through the centre. So, if you look at the design, it, it's a little bit different to what you often see. Uh, the reason I put these cones on, that you see, that's to take up any slack, so the spool's always going to sit exactly in the centre, no matter how big the um, the hole in the centre is. See, I've got this uh, spool here. It's got a large hole. If I didn't have these cones, that's going to sit kind of like that, and it can wobble around. It'll probably spin okay, but it's not concentric, and it's um, yeah, not up to my uh, OCD standards. So the cones mean it's going to sit dead centre, and then once you put the nut on. That'll clamp it in, and it's going to sit there just nice, not going to wobble around, and it's not going to uh, potentially tangle up or anything. Then, of course, if we go for a uh, smaller hole, nice purple filament there, that also will sit nice and concentric. Look at that. So it's, a, it's automatically adjustable to any size of, uh, of spool. Now, to put this thing together, We'll stick a bearing in the back and a bearing in the top. That's going to make that spin nice and smooth and free. Uh, I'm using fully sealed bearings, the rubber sealed bearings. The reason for that is I want a slight amount of friction just so it doesn't unspool. And uh, the rubber sealed bearings do give a little bit more friction than the, um, the metal sealed bearings. So, yeah, that's just why I'm using those. Now, with a shaft, grab your shaft and... Uh, the threaded rod too. We want to put a, uh, a nut on just at one end. Now if you see the nut, I'll hold it up close. Hopefully that's going to focus. I'll adjust the light. You'll see there's a, uh, a rounded side on the, on the left there and there's a non-rounded side on the right. The reason why this side is rounded is just so that you can uh, more easily get the uh, your spanner on there. It kind of like guides on like a funnel. The other side is not rounded so you get more surface area to get on contact with your washer or your um, your contact surface where that's tightening against. So make sure that if you see this pattern on the bolts, or on the nuts, sorry, the flat side always goes down, the round side always goes up. Plus it looks a bit nicer too. So we've got the, uh, the first nut on there. Uh, we want to put the, the, what do you call that, the holder. Then stick a washer on. That's so we're not going to damage the uh, plastic, and then we can put our nut on there. And then, that can be tightened up. Make sure it's not sticking out too far, because um, you don't want the, uh, the print bed to hit there, because it does come relatively close. So that's ready to go in the, in the, uh, the printer. But first, we've got to put a, another washer on here, because that's going to stop the bearing from potentially rubbing just in here. So stick your uh, your washer in, your bearing, through like that, and then we can put a, another washer on this end, a spring washer. The reason I'm putting the spring washer on is just to give a little bit of tension on those, uh, those bearings. Uh, it's not going to be enough to damage them, and we're not running at high speed anyway, but that little bit of tension is just going to firm it up just a bit so when you put the spool on it just doesn't unroll under the, uh, the spring tension of the, the plastic filament. And then We've got our uh, nylock. The reason I'm using a nylock here is just so that it locks on and it 
we can adjust the tension without it coming loose. The nylon in the actual um, in the nut there that will hold it against the shaft, even if it's not tightened up. If we don't have that, as it's unrolling, it's got the potential to to undo that nut, and then the whole thing will fall apart. So the nylon just prevents that from happening. If I can get that on there, there we go. So that's once I tighten that up, uh, that's ready to go in the machine. Then the assembly is just that one goes on there. This is a backwards thread, so uh, note that it's not righty tidy lefty loosey, it's lefty tidy righty loosey. The reason for that is because on the D6, this spool unspools this way. So to tighten it up, you tighten it up this way. If this was set to tighten up the normal way, you've got the potential that when that uh, spool turns, it can start, if it slips at all, it can loosen this off, and then you can get jams and whatever. So that's kind of a little bit of a self-tightening sort of thing. So let's go and stick this in the printer and uh, get this thing all sorted out. Alright, so I've got the three printer here on the bench. This is the back of the machine, and the front's on that side over here somewhere. So there's our uh, hole that the mount goes in. I've taken this back apart. You want to have it like this. So you've got the, uh, the plastic kind of screw mount piece all tightened up with your shaft sticking out the back. You want the, uh, the nut. This is what comes with the machine. So that goes on the inside. There's like a cutout where it slots in. And then this can be tightened up. Now, I've designed this with uh, two flats. So if you've got a big spanner or a wrench or something, you can put it on there and tighten it up. I don't actually have one because I don't have one that big. I haven't gone and bought one yet. So I'm going to do it tight with my hands. I've got a mechanic's hand, so I'll be able to get it nice and tight without too much trouble. Like that. And that's ready for all the rest of the stuff. So we want to put a, uh, a washer on and a bearing. And then this one goes on. I've already got the bearing in the end there. But to do it completely... We'll put the uh, this one on, and then the bearing, which I just took out. That can go in. And that's going to spin just nice. Look at that. Alright, then we've got another washer. Spring washer. And a nylock. lock Now we've got to tighten this up to the point where it's just nice but not too tight, but not too loose either. If it's too loose, you run the risk of the uh, all the plastic unspooling because when you, you know, undo it, it's got a bit of spring tension it's going to try and unravel. So you don't want that to happen, but you don't want it too tight that it's too hard to turn. So it's kind of just a bit of do it by feel. It's going to be nice and smooth anyway, but see that? It's kind of stops pretty quick. So maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just want a little bit of stiction there. Now it's a matter of sticking that one on. And then the nut, the wing nut. Reverse thread, remember? Now the reason I've designed these two little tabs is so you can grab that. Otherwise, if you try and grab the spool, like this this piece here, it's just going to rotate. You can't get any tension. But if you can get your fingers on those little tabs, and then you can tighten that up nice and tight and just cinch it up so it's not loose at all. All right, let's, uh, let's stick a spool on there. See what it looks like. All right, we'll stick some, uh, what's that, silver ABS, Kexel brand or whatever, just what I've got laying around. Nice big hole there, which normally would be a bit, a bit rattly. But with the cones, it's going to hold there nice and tight. Stick the, uh, the wing nut on, remember, reverse thread. And we can use these little bits here to hold that, and then just cinch that up so it's nice and tight. Look at that, beautiful, perfect. Ready to go. Alright, I'm going to give that a thumbs up, of course I am, because I designed it. Always give myself a thumbs up. Don't forget, we've got the Patreon. Keep watching the videos, and we'll see you next time.